how to easily share a project file in DaVinci Resolve. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a very easy way you can share a project using DaVinci Resolve. And then additionally, I'm gonna show you a few other methods on ways you can share the project as well as all the files that are with that project. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so first things first is I'm going to come down and click on the DaVinci Resolve program down here. Now, there's two ways you can basically get the project file. So the first way is once DaVinci Resolve loads up, what you do is you come up to the project you want to export. So let's just say I want to do this testimonial one. So I can right click on that and then I can go to export project. And then all I do is I just export it. So just for this example, export it to the desktop. And voila, it's right up here. And so that's the project file. Now, if you share this with anybody, as long as they have the other project files, it should act the same way as say like a Premiere project would. All right, so just to see what this actually does. So if I click on this file here, so it's basically just making a new project here. Okay, so as you can see, all the clips are there and there's even ones up here that aren't in the timeline that are there too. All right, so we can see that that worked pretty well. So one thing to keep in mind with this method of exporting just the project file is in order for the other person to be able to access the entire project, they're going to need a duplicate of all the files that were contained in that project. So the next method I'm gonna show you is how to export the project file as well as all the files that are within that project file. Quick tip here, you can access the main menu inside your project by going to the bottom right corner and clicking on the house button. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click here again and then I'm gonna go down to Export Project Archive. And then I'll go ahead and just create a new folder, hit Save. So here this window comes up and it's asking basically like what kind of things do you want to have archived? So sometimes you have proxy media, sometimes you have like render cache files. Those, those are just files that allow your, your video to play back faster. So I generally just uncheck that and I just keep the media files thing checked to keep everything else unchecked. And then I hit okay and then it starts the process. All right, so this is the project and the project files that we exported. So we'll click on this. All right, so when we click on that, we'll see that the project file is right here and the media files are right here. So if we click on the media files, we can see that all these original clips are here. So we click on ACAM and we can see that all the clips are right there. And then if we go to BCAM, we've got all of our files right here. Audio is there too. So yeah, we can see that everything transferred over. So what you can do is you can share this folder with anybody and they'll be able to click on the project inside of here and access the entire project all at once. So this is a great way to pass the project off to another editor. Okay, so let's just say we have a huge project, like it's taking up terabytes and terabytes of space. And all we wanna do is we want to archive the project to be able to easily access this. And we may want to even compress some of the video files. Like let's just say we shot on a red camera and we shot in raw. Well, what we wanna do is we want to take that and actually just compress the footage into like an H.264, 265 format and just archive it. So that way, if we have to take it down to a quick edit and give it to a client, it's there, but um, it's not gonna take up tons and tons and tons of space on the cloud or on whatever storage platform that we're using. So the easiest way to do that is just to export a timeline and not the entire project. So what I'm gonna do is if I'm archiving a project, what I'll do is I'll take the final master that I delivered to the client, it was approved and whatnot, and then what I'll do is I'll just export that timeline only. All right, so to do that, I'm gonna come up to File. So then I'm gonna come down here to Media Management, click there, and then next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say Transcode, Used Media, and I'm gonna go over to Timelines, and I just wanna do Timeline 2, Okay, then I'll just set it to HD. You can set this to 4K or whatever resolution that you want. And uh, I generally just stick to the H.264, 265 codec for archiving. And then I hit start. Okay, so here we'll see a timeline project called timeline2.drt. So instead of being DRP, it's DRT. So that is a DaVinci Resolve timeline. That's what that stands for. And then you'll see that it's exported these files here as well as some audio and then some logos here some logos there so again it looks like we just used two files because we just had our b cam and our a cam here so again this will export all the files that you used in this project just right here and then if i click on this okay so what it basically did here was it opened up davinci resolve under a new project 
and it imported the timeline. So if I zoom down here, you'll see that all these clips are here and I can even like expand them out. So even the original files are there, but these, this is just the transcoded version of those files. And so that's how you do it. So there you have it. That's how you export projects from DaVinci Resolve. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.